The merge operation allows users to copy changes from one branch to another. This functionality is often required when the model development is branch-driven. That is, when every feature is initially modeled on separate branches while keeping the baseline branch unchanged. A three-way merge is automatically executed when merging Teamwork Cloud projects, meaning that the common historical version between the chosen branches, also known as the ancestor, is used. This allows us to identify the changes introduced in the source and the target project version separately by comparing the changes between the ancestor and both contributors. Let's see merge in action. To merge the changes, you have to open the target branch first. Then simply go to Collaborate and select Merge From. A new dialog that allows you to quickly select the project version or the branch that you want to merge opens up. Let's select the development branch and click OK. You can merge the project with or without a lock on the target branch. If another user commits the changes without a lock during merge, your merge operation will fail and you would only be able to review the changes. Therefore, we strongly recommend that you lock the project for the merge. In the Open Merge dialog, you can investigate what changes have been introduced in the selected branch. By default, all changes are accepted, meaning that they will be merged. However, the default resolution can always be changed, which allows you to define which specific changes should be merged. Diagram changes can be visually examined by double-clicking on them. Use the slider to see the new changes introduced in the graphical representation. Let's return to the main view of the Merge dialog. You can see that there is a notification informing us about the conflicting changes. The user input is required to make sure that the project changes are merged as expected. Click the notification to see the conflicting changes. The dialog now shows the conflicting element changes only. Select the element to see the exact conflicting property change between the source and the target in the specification panel. You can solve the conflict by simply accepting the change from the source or target. Let's right-click on the change from source and accept the change from the incoming branch. To see all the changes again, you can select the cog icon and change the filter to All Changes. Let's navigate to the previously conflicting element. In the Merge Result column, you can see which name will be set after the merge operation is finished. Once you are satisfied with your decisions, click Finish Merging. The notification will inform you that the merge was successful and that it is now time to do the final review of the model again to see whether the introduced changes were merged according to your expectations. If during the review you notice that some elements have some minor issues, you can introduce final changes to them. However, if there are a lot of complex changes, and you would prefer to change your previous merge decisions, you can return to the Merge dialog by simply clicking Return to Merge in the notification or initiating the merge again. This will return you to the Merge dialog with all your decisions retained. Simply go to the change you want to modify and apply your new decision. That was a short introduction on how to quickly merge project branches in Teamwork Cloud. To find more details about Teamwork Cloud, please visit the link provided in the description.